Hey guys, it's Dr. George here, and I just wanted to do a quick post. There has been a measles outbreak here in Melbourne. Um, the Laird Hotel has released um, some information that on Wednesday the 9th, there was a patron attending who has since been found out to be um, infected with measles. Measles is transmitted through coughing, sneezing, and it can be also transmitted through kissing. Um, most people in Australia have immunity against measles because of vaccination. However, if you are unsure if you have immunity, then it is worthwhile to have a chat with your doctor and a blood test can be done to check to see whether or not you have immunity to the measles, um, the measles virus. Measles shows up with cold and flu-like symptoms. You can feel very, very crook, muscles, aches and pains. Um, that normally starts a week to 18 days after you are exposed. And the most prominent thing is a rash. It's a, it's a flat red rash. Um, when you push it, um, it doesn't blanch. Um, you can have quite high fevers, you can have a cough, you can have a very sore throat and a runny nose as well. If you have recently developed uh, cold and flu-like symptoms with a rash, it could very well be measles and it's important to get tested. Um, before you go in to see your doctor, let them know that you could have been exposed to measles and that way they can provide you with a mask so you can avoid spreading it to any person who's attending the, the hospital or the GP. Um, if you are living with HIV, it is worthwhile to consider the measles uh, vaccine. Again, we can test to see whether you have immunity with a blood test and people who are living with HIV can be vaccinated against the measles um, with an MMR, mumps, measles, rubella vaccine, as long as you're fit, healthy, and your CD4 count is above 200. Of course, if you have any questions, please talk with your doctor, talk with your HIV provider if you have any questions. So. A um, big thank you to the Laird for um, letting people know that there was a potential exposure to measles on the 9th of January on the evening of that Wednesday evening. So if you're starting to feel unwell or if you feel unwell somewhere between now and late January with a rash, it's important to exclude measles. I hope this has been helpful.